Today we are going to demonstrate how a cone cut image is created and how to correct it. This will include how to correctly and incorrectly take maxillary, anterior, periapical image and a bite wing image. When taking an anterior maxillary central periapical, or PA, place the sensor parallel to the central axis of the maxillary incisors and ask the patient to bite down firmly on the bite block. Then place the PID to the center of the aiming ring to ensure that it is parallel to the indicator arm. This is called paralleling technique. Paralleling technique means the central axis of the root of the tooth is parallel to the placed sensor. If paralleling technique cannot be used due to a narrow palate or other interference, then you would use a technique called bisecting angle. Bisecting angle technique is when the central ray is directly perpendicular to the imaginary plane that bisects the angle between the sensor and the root of the tooth. This is a great PA because you can see the open mesial contact and the central incisors are centered in the image. Also, you can see the 2 millimeters of bone above the root apex and also the incisal edge at the bottom of the image. To produce what we call a cone cut image, the sensor will be placed in the mouth the same way as the previous PA, but the PID will artificially be moved higher than the normal paralleling technique position. We have a cone cut at the inferior aspect of the radiograph. One way that the cone cut happens is when the beam coming out of the PID is not completely in line with the sensor, which is why we got a radio opaque portion or white area on this image. That means there was no radiation being exposed to that portion of the sensor. In order to fix this, you need to realign the tube head with the aiming ring and make it parallel with the indicator arm. As a recap, this is what your anterior maxillary central PA should look like. Now let's try taking a bite wing. A bite wing is a good way to demonstrate other ways cone cuts can occur. For a bite wing, you would have to switch to a different beam alignment device. As you are changing out the indicator arms and sensor holders, notice that the arms of the sensor holder are loose and can cause the sensor to move while placing it in the mouth. Therefore, this could cause the sensor to not be in line with the aiming ring. Unfortunately, the sensor moved while trying to place it in the patient's mouth, and you can see that it produced a cone cut at the lateral aspect of the radiograph. It is important to note that if this kind of cone cut occurs, one should suspect that the sensor has moved in the mouth and not the alignment of the PID was wrong. This can be suspected due to the fact that the PID was correctly centered around the ring and parallel with the indicator arm when the radiograph was taken. Just make sure when placing the beam alignment device in the mouth that the sensor is centrally located within the arms of the sensor holder as the patient is closing their mouth. After retaking the image, you can see that the cone cut is fixed. And now you'll be prepared to take some rock and x-rays. Thank you for watching our video.